Forgive the blindfold, Mr. Cooch. An unfortunate necessity, I fear. I bid you welcome to the new headquarters of my organization. Yeah, very nice. Call me Ryan. Alas, I abhor informality. To business. Permit me to outline for you, if I may, the amusements I wish you to realize for me. This wall, for example. A sturdy and unyielding wall, wouldn't you say? But what I require, Mr. Cooch, is a cunning mechanism whereby pressure applied to a lever camouflaged as, shall we say, this volume of Miss Katie Price's Being Jordan, <laughs> will rotate the entire wall to reveal on its dexter side. Well, that need not concern you. Is that clear? You want it not through? <laughs> no, you misapprehend me. The wall must remain, yet rotate. It must be there, yet not there. You are a hatch. No, no, Mr. Cooch, no, not a hatch. I, I, I wish for the entire wall to rotate, turn upon its axis, roundy round. Why? I just do. All right, well, can't be done, I'm afraid. This is a load-bearing wall. Nevertheless. No, I mean, if it was this wall that you wanted to, what, rotate, is it? Yes, yes, rotate. Well, it would be a huge job, but I think there's a way you could do it. Hmm, well, somewhat less impressive, but the roaring fire lends a certain je ne sais quoi. No, the fire would have to go. By no means. It is integral to the effect that the fire burns merrily in the grate as the wall turns. Look, mate, if you rotate a wall with a burning fire in it, the effect that you'll get is a room full of smoke. I can't revolve the chimney, mate. It's down to health and safety. <laughs> Forgive my levity, Mr. Cooch, but when you come to know me better, you will learn that neither health nor safety are among my primary concern. Look, if you want to rotate this wall, here's what you need to do. Fireplace decommissioned, yellow and black edging around all moving sections, clear, well-lit signage saying, warning, this wall may revolve. I begin to find you tiresome, Mr. Cooch. Don't get personal, mate. It's not me with a bonkers interior designer. <laughs> Look, if, if not a revolving wall, then how about a nice, simple trapdoor? Trapdoor? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that sounds possible. Excellent. Well, I want them under each of these seats with chutes leading down to a tank full of ravenous piranhas. Fair enough. I'm going to have that done by Tuesday. <laughs> That, ladies and gentlemen, is the true purpose of the Calippo organization. Now, doubtless, this may come as a shock to some of you. So let me assure you, if any of you have any moral qualms about my little proposition, you're more than welcome to simply walk away. So, any niggling little doubts? Um, yes, I... I thought that all sounded a bit... So, um, I might go, if that's all right. But I won't tell anyone, I swear. No, Hugo. I know you won't. Well, no, I won't. <laughs> I'm quite sure you won't. Um, what's that? Nothing, nothing. Don't you worry about that. OK, so am I free to go? Uh, y yes, yes. Just sit tight for a moment, though. Uh, we need to talk about your redundancy package. Why isn't it? Because you need to press the other... So, what's going on? Nothing, nothing. Now we can forward date your pension to. Attention, attention. Trap door number three is about to open. Please clear the area.
trapdoor? Is there a trapdoor? No, no, it's just an emergency drill. You would sit tight. Trapdoor three is about to open. Please clear the area. I think I might go. No, 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 stay. But we haven't talked about what sort of a leaving bash you might... Trapdoor three now opening. Oh, terrific. 